Gotcha. My mom, before like giving birth to me, uh -huh. the day before the hospital, she was literally out there on the. Oh, that's a good one, dude. That's a good one. That's a good one. Get the net. Get the net. Whoa, oh, my God. Oh, right there is a fish. Look at this. Beautiful morning. Mist coming off the water. I'm at a lake that I've never been to before. Just drove three hours to meet this guy right here. What's We've up, got guys? Fisher Yin. And we are going to be going on his boat. Is that your boat right there, man? That is my boat. How did you come to acquire this boat? So during the summer, I entered uh, this catch co competition called On the Line. And fast forward, I ended up winning this boat, which was uh, advertised as the grand prize. And this is actually my third time taking it out. Mike is actually the second person uh, besides me who's actually been on this boat. That's crazy. So you won this boat for free yep. from Catch Co winning a contest. That's awesome, dude. And now you said I'm the second person on your boat. That's Have you crazy. caught a fish on this boat yet? Now, I've hooked many fish, but I've not yet landed one. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Don't worry, dude. I'm on the boat today with you. I'm going to bring the good vibes. We are going to catch fish number one on you. Now, the boat's usually named, right? Do you have a name for the, the boat? The boat is now called the Yin Tin. The Yin Tin right here. <laughs> so right here, my friends, we have the Yin Tin. This will be her fourth voyage onto the water. Is that correct? Uh, third. A third joy. Oh, yeah. a third voyage onto the water. And we're going to get fish number one in the boat. I got this for you, man. Here's a uh, boat warming present for you. Whoa. Why don't you open her up right here? All right. Right here, guys, we have a perfect gift for any angler this holiday season. That's why I'm giving oh, it to my no, boy. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> okay. I think I know what it is. I think you're going to know, too. Check it out, guys. Oh, <laughs> there it is. This is the 12 Days of Fish Mish advent calendar for this year. Now, if you guys want to pick this up yourself, you're going to have to go to Walmart. It's only being sold there, $25 to get this bad boy. And if you wouldn't mind, bro, would you mind opening it up? And let's yeah. just open up two compartments to show the viewers what we have inside this calendar. Because I can tell you what, it ain't candy in there. Ooh, all right. Let's see. All right. Um, Advent calendar. I think this is the right way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, uh, open here. Okay. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you too much. Was that the... Wait, was wait, that the... Uh, wait, hold on. Are there compartments? Let's see. Yeah, it's just... Real quick, guys. My boy Fisher Yin made a slight mistake when opening this advent calendar. You're actually supposed to flip it open like this. And you're going to have 12 compartments in which you can open one for each day of fish myths. Enjoy. We almost spoiled the whole surprise. Now tell me what you're seeing. Now you're seeing 12 lures, am I correct? Because I haven't looked at it either. Um, some of them actually aren't lures. Okay, okay. So we're having a variety of things. Yeah. Are they all fishing related? They like, are all fishing related, sort of. Gotcha. Sort of. Gotcha. Now guys, I have my own advent calendar. I'm going to be doing a challenge with them next month, revealing all the compartments. But for now, that is a little sneak peek for you. Big thanks. Catch Code Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring today's video. Go ahead and pick yourselves up one at Walmart for this holiday season. Go, give it to a friend, a family member, anyone who likes angling. Perfect gift. But now we're going to load up the yin tin and we're going to go catch some fish. Ryan is going to put the yin tin into the lake. Now, he's never owned a boat before. Let's see how he does with the backing in job because I hear it's very difficult quite difficult to learn how to properly back a boat in. It's looking good so far. All right. You're gonna have to position the boat so it lands directly into the ramp. I mean, he's looking good. He's looking good so far. He's gonna need a slight turn. Turn that, get that boat turning. Yeah, that's good. That might be your best. Is that your best dropping it yet? It might be. <laughs> it might be smooth. You mean, you're looking like a, you look like a pro, dude. That's, if that's not good luck for today, then I don't know what is. I um, yeah. I need, I need to remove some straps. The yin tin has some straps in the oh. back that keeps her secured. <laughs> if we put her in the water she right now, we anywhere. wouldn't be able to drop her in. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good thing I remembered. 
Going in. I hope my backpack doesn't fall in the water. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. I don't know how long it'll take to get fish number one, but hopefully not too long. I'll be going with my one rod today. Okay. Brought the BFS gear just in case though. Just in case things are really tough and we, yeah. we need to, we're struggling to get a fish in the boat. What are you starting with today, by the way? I'll probably just throw a lipless first, a white lipless. Sounds like a great choice. Work it around the edges. Yep. Points. Let me okay, see. The, here we go. Yep. Oh, water temp's not bad. I know exactly what I'm going to start with. Got stained water, cooling temps. Definitely got to go right here with the black buzz bait. Oh, I thought that was a log. Is that a diamond turtle? Uh, no, that's a log. Okay, it is a log. There are giant uh, alligator snapping turtles. Here. Holy, I've never seen an alligator snapping turtle in real life. Hopefully don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those things get like over 100 pounds, right? Yeah. And those are the ones that can bite your hand off? Or no? Yeah, basically. It's just the best top water day of my life here. Oh, yeah. I'm a white whopper popper. Nice. Like afternoon and just fish after fish after fish. Oh, oh right oh, next oh, to my bait. Oh, oh, oh. I think might be a little too fast. Oh, you're on? I'm on. Is that fish number one? It's fish number one. <laughs> <laughs> <Get> nice. <in> <laughs> <here>. <laughs> That's Woo! awesome. We almost doubled up. Yeah. Dude. You broke the curse, dude. I did it. Dude, nice. Mike had a fish like wake in the pads after his uh, buzz bait, and then felt a little thump, and there she is. <laughs> fish number first, one. First little LMV actually landed on the boat. Bro, you gotta give him a kiss before you say goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Good Sweet. stuff, dude. Yeah. So you're throwing the, what are you throwing right uh, here? I'm throwing a little tightrope finesse jig ah, with see. a crack and crawl on the back. Very nice. Yep. Hit on the outside of these pads? Yeah, I just pitched right into here. Nice. They like to hide in there. Okay. So I'm thinking the buzz bait might be a little bit aggressive. It's not that early because there's a traffic jam coming in here. It's like 9 a.m. We got these bluebird skies, so the fish should be positioned in the pads, but I don't think they're hitting top water. I'm gonna switch up the presentation. Nice underwater structure. Okay. Like right over here? Yeah, that's where all the big fish are caught up. Dude, I think I got a fish. No way. Oh, you do have a fish on the structure. I told you, bro. <laughs> you called that one. <laughs> Woo, yeah, all right, we're upgrading. We're that upgrading. Is, that's Keep clearly up. an upgrade. Whoa. Oh, nice. Woo. He choked it. <laughs> You called the that was literally a play by play right there. No, I might know this lake better than I think. Oh uh, yeah, you definitely know it better than you think. Were you bumping the structure with your jig? Bumping the structure okay. and then just saw my line moving. I was like, well, here we go. Now, how do you know where the structure is? I don't see anything. You cast it out and you just feel for it. I mean it's like is it like everywhere here it's something big underwater? I'm not sure, but I just know that it's out in the middle of this like channel. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh yeah, I feel the structure. Mm-hmm. Pull out a donkosaurus. Oh! Oh, oh he broke oh, me off! No. It broke me off! What the heck? <laughs> Wait, was that, I mean, was there anything with teeth in here? There's pickerel. Oh, it's pickerel? It's gotta be a pickerel. pickerel. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> what were you throwing? I was throwing a swim jig. Oh, man. Oh, that's tragic, guys. That's actually tragic. Now, another option, it could have, in theory, been a snapping turtle, I suppose. Well, yeah, they will eat it. That is correct. Uh, right now, I'm re-, re Oh! Is it good? Or is it big? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, let me get, get my lines so we got tangled. You, oh, All right. Heck yeah, I'll dude. See. As you like to say, <laughs> get in the boat. <laughs> You've nailed three bass three in bats. about 10 minutes. Yeah. That's crazy. Dude, I'm telling you, this jig works. Yeah, you're smashing him. You're bouncing along the bottom? Yeah. All right. Right, uh, right at that point. See you. Dude, these fish are <laughs> these fish are like pretty thick too. Yeah. They're feeding them pretty good. All right, that's that's good to see. I mean, we've hit a hot area here, guys. We are catching, getting bit. Well, he's getting bit all over the place. I'm gonna try to find bite number one. Hopefully, in the next couple minutes. Virginia. Gotcha. My mom, before like giving birth to me, uh -huh. the day before the hospital, she was literally out there on the. Oh, that's a good one, dude. 
There's a good one. There's a good one. Get the net. Get the net. Whoa, oh my god. Bro, bro. Come on. Oh, oh. Net. Net. We need the net, bro. We need the net. Oh, oh, oh. Get. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. Go, go, go. Go. Get the net. Okay, grab it. Grab What? What? Oh, are you shit? What the fuck? Oh, wait. What the <laughs> What just happened? Oh my god! What just happened? Oh, it's a dick toss no. in the back. What? <laughs> How is this possible? Dude, that's my first fish out of this lake. And you're Bro, I cannot believe My man almost tipped the boat. <laughs> Dude, this is your fish. Oh yeah, it's you're holding it. Man. Yeah, hold this for me. Dude, that what? is insane. On the swim jig. This is my biggest bass of the year hands down bar none look at this <laughs> look at this fish all right let's wait that here. is insane let's i'm gonna give her bro. a sip of water and we'll yeah. wait yeah yeah i'm gonna go ahead and grab i got i got you right here let's go ahead multi that grab. might be a it's over five i think it's over five yeah but it's not the it's not the fattest so mm -mm. somewhere between five and a half six probably she was in the process of stocking up and she yeah. saw a nice little swim jig let's <laughs> go by That's right let, let me take a wait. Dude. You know what? I'm going to say six. All right. I'm not the best at weighing big fish. I would say fish, that too. But I want to say six. <laughs> okay. Not the fattest, but she got some shoulders on her. Mm -hmm. Get an official weight right here. Come on. Come on, big mama. Oh, Dude. let's go. 6.1. Just over six. Dude. <laughs> Imagine if she was full of eggs. This might actually beat my PB oh, if she's yeah. full of eggs. Oh, yeah. Right. Maybe, yeah. It, it'd be a tough call absolute beautiful fish right here and honestly guys i have not caught a bass this big this year i mean it's literally my biggest bass of the year absolute beauty of a bucket mouth one more peek at the, look at the shoulders on her absolutely ridiculous we're gonna let her go thank you big girl off she goes so this lake is pretty decent eh <laughs> honestly dude well, I looked on fish brain here and I saw a lot of like one to two pound fish. I didn't see any big ones. And, but you told me that there were some giants out here and I thought maybe we, I was just talking that, you know, maybe we might see one today, maybe not, but looks like it's coming uh, sooner than we thought. Yeah. <sighs> looks like the curse on the good old Yintin has been broken. <laughs> the curse. This is officially a lucky boat now, bro. That fish has blessed this boat. Good call coming out here, by the yeah. way, picking this spot. <sighs> His, I mean, guys, I literally caught that fish right there. See that clump? That clump of uh, just a couple random sticks right near the bank. What I did, I tossed my swim jig in here, 3 eighths of an ounce. It's a blue gold pattern, but I have a shad trailer because it's shad in this lake. And I actually don't have the right color to match it, but look at the water clarity. Not having the exact perfect color matching is not gonna make a difference to these fish. This is the Biospawn Exoswim. Has a ton of tail thumping action, and that fish absolutely inhaled it right there. Woo! We have we only been fishing what less than an hour? One hour? Yes. Yeah. One hour into the day, he's got three. I've got a behemoth. Let's keep going. <laughs> I got a little excited. I, I was like, that's the only fish I've caught today is a six pounder. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got. And right before y'all, I was doing my popper. And yeah. I hooked one in my, I didn't have my drag set. Oh. It was, it was, it, I don't think it was six, but it was definitely a big motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. The big ones are out here today. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. Well, hey, congratulations, guys. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Good luck, man. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> I almost dropped my TC in the water. <laughs> Bro, not paying attention at all. Dude, I almost, dude, I remember when my buddy Matt actually did that exact same thing on a cast and he just backlashed a teeny bit and he dropped it in the water. Oh, no. And he literally, he, we couldn't get, we spent a couple hours that day, but then he went back the next day, spent three hours dragging a treble hook on the bottom yeah. and, he, and he hooked it. He got oh, it. Final. He recovered it. That's crazy. It was legendary. Bite might be dead. Oh, the bite, uh, the bite has been dead, bro. The bite has been dead. It's gonna die. I mean, Ned Rig, zero bites, no bite. Literally, like, no bites in the last three hours. Mm -hmm. There's only the one thing we can do right now, guys. Some Chick-fil-A, my friends. 
What did you got here, Ryan? I got a spicy chicken sandwich deluxe with some oh, large fries. Excellent choice right here, my friend. Here's my spread right here, guys. Got the large fries, a little mac and cheese action, spicy chicken sandwich original, and one of their slept on items. This right here is the grilled chicken club. You got bacon, cheese, grilled chicken. Woo! We're keeping it light, because mm -hmm. my friends, it may not look it, but we are about to do some insane fishing right over yonder. But before we do that, make sure you check out my boy, Fisher Yin, have a link down below. He's putting out bangers every week. There's a reason why you won that boat, right, man? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Today was very, very interesting. Four hours of grinding out there. I got exactly one fish and missed one other bite, but it was worth it. You got what, four fish today, man? I got four fish, yeah. So I'm gonna call today a success, at least for the first half. We didn't get the quantity, but we certainly got some quality in there. It's awesome having you out, man. Yeah. And thank you guys so much for watching. Look out, cause we'll be catching more fish and they're gonna be a slightly different color.